Hello everybody and welcome to this let's play of Total War Rome 2 Emperor Edition. This is by Gaming Connoisseur. So today uh, I just want to bring you this video because you know I've been a, been a fan of Total War Rome 2 for a long time. Uh, I do have an existing let's play uh, of the Rome campaign and so I've just recently uh, patched my game to uh, version 2.0.0 and so this is my first time playing the Emperor Edition and so what I thought I might do is I'll start a new campaign uh, in addition to my existing campaign uh, with Rome so you know I want to check out what the new campaign looks like and how it plays out I have read some details about it uh, but you know this is the first time I've seen it uh, in actual gameplay, so you know, for those of you who are fans of you know turn-based uh, and real-time strategy, as well as uh, Roman, uh, you know, the classical history, you know, I think you'll find this uh, you know let's play very interesting. And so let's start a new campaign. So I believe this is the one that you should choose, em uh, Imp Imperator Augustus. So you do, you are able to choose different cultures. So I'm going to go with Rome. Okay, Roman legions, one plus one recruitment slot. Okay. So now you choose a faction. I think I'll go with Octavian. Okay, so minus three tax rate. Let's have a look at the other ones. Lepidus. Okay, I think this is more in line with my previous last play uh, with the house Cornelius. Yeah, uh, it's this is more or less the same sort of uh, advantages and di disadvantages. But let's have a look at Pompey. Okay, so there's some sort of uh, you know disadvantages with each one. But, you know, I think I'll go with Antony's Rome. Because I think that's more... Um, kind of thing I'm more comfortable with. Yeah, so we'll go with this one. You are my son, but I've done all I can to protect you. The gods smile on you, Octavian. You're a good soldier. I'm a politician. We don't need more politicians. It's not more speeches in the Senate that will change the world. Rome is dying. Why do you think Caesar favored you so? I was loyal. No, Octavian. He saw in you the potential to continue his legacy. Not to follow him, but to exceed him. Antony cannot be trusted. His heart lies in Egypt. 
We must confront the reality that civil war is inevitable. And how will bloodshed save the people of Rome? You are not meant to save them. You are meant to lead them. All men are troubled when their moment has come. I am not Caesar. I don't have his strength. The people loved him, and they will love you. You can't think like an ordinary man. You must reach beyond mortal ambition and do what has never been done. Survive, my son. Rome must have a master. Having received the lion's share of the Republic and its challenges, you are locked into a deadly struggle with Parthia in the East. They wish to rob you of valuable client states. You may save them and counterattack deep into Parthian territory, or sacrifice these provinces to buy yourself time elsewhere. In the Balkans, your Thracian allies are threatened by deadly nomadic tribes from the north. Invading the region will give you a springboard to Rome, should your fragile triumvirate collapse. This, after all, is your ultimate goal, and should be pursued with unswerving dedication. Greatness beckons you. Follow its trail to the bitter end. All right. So that was the mission briefing. And I am Mark Antony, <laughs> playing uh, his, uh, you know, his part of the campaign in uh, this time period, uh, in you know, 46 BC, I believe it is, I think. And so, completely controls 17 provinces, either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies. So, so this will probably take me a, a little bit of uh, getting used to because you know I'm used to seeing all the Roman you know Roman symbols and you know, the different buildings, but you know with this one this is a uh, you know, everything's very different. So okay, so I own this. This, this is part of my. Uh, territory. So these these ones all belong to me. So does this one. Okay. So let me just have a look at my my cities, my settlements, I should say. So I own this one as well. Maybe the first thing I should do is raise some armies to protect my settlements. I don't know where to uh, where I should begin because I'm, but I'm thinking that the enemies that I'll face will be coming from yeah will probably be most likely be coming from the north and the east so okay so Brundisium all right. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll try and fortify these regions first, and also to the uh, you know a bit more to the east. So I think that's where 
a lot of the attacks are going to come from. Okay, so let's focus on this side first because we are facing some enemies over here or potential enemies. So we need to strengthen our borders first. Okay. So Pergamon, uh, Pessinus, Ephesus, and Rhodos, they are all uh, cities uh, lined up along this area. Okay, so maybe, yeah, we need an army here. So let's raise an army here. We use this guy. Uh, his name is Sextus Manila Manilius <laughs> Fronto. Yep, so that's his name. And we'll go for veteran uh, legionaries. We hunger for battle. Okay, so we need, I think we need a field of Mars. And we'll convert this to Shrine of Jupiter. Mm, okay, so the, the stats are different as well. Yeah, I think this is good. Plus four wealth from all sources. And then after that we might be able to dismantle dismantle this. Actually we can do it now, because I don't really need it. Army recruitment capacity. Yeah. Not really something I need, I don't think. So we'll get rid of this. Okay.
this is actually very good. Uh, just wondering which one should I go for? Civil Colonia. Yeah, I think I'll go for Civil Colonia. But you know, it's a bit too expensive, I think. So uh, maybe we'll turn our attention to the north, because I think that's where you know we, we might start seeing. So I think we need So we'll dismantle this one, and then we'll get a field of Mars. Okay. Okay. So I think this is uh, this is where I'll leave it. And so let's just end the turn and see and see how we go. Uh, we'll leave the remaining money as it is in case we need it, and we'll do research as well. Okay, so we have all these. This has already been researched. Which one should we go for? Yeah, I'm thinking I'll fo focus on military. It's just that uh, it's really hard to decide what to go for. Okay, we'll go for this one. Physical conditioning. So I don't think that, uh, yeah, I don't think our enemies will attack us on on uh, on the seas. At least, not that I know, uh, think of at the moment. Um,
Okay, so let's end the turn. Okay, 20 plus, plus 20 wealth from all commerce. Mm, okay. So we can still... Let's just issue edicts for our other provinces. Actually, I think this is better. Bread and games. So let's just switch that to. Nika. Okay, I think that's it. Pompey's Rome is attacking Lapidus Rome. So we have So we enter the war on the side of the Allies. We would be forever in your debt if you ordered your worthy generals to act against these monsters. Okay, so what are they, what are they asking? So war with Egypt. Am I a war with them? Hmm, okay, let's just let me have a look at my relations. Okay, so where are they? That's me. And expansionism. Okay, so don't they don't really they're not really that friendly with me, so So yeah, okay, we'll join the war against Your acceptance here will bring much satisfaction to my people. My thanks.
The storm has raged long enough. And now, at your agreement, the softer reins of peace could be yours. They want a peace treaty. Um, but if I accept this, then... Hmm. Maybe... Maybe I shouldn't. An unwise, even foolish choice. But we respect your independence of thought. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Octavian's Rome has broken. The alliance with Lepidus, Rome. Okay. Alright, so I think we'll continue this in the next episode. So thank you for joining me today. And uh, if you could please like, comment, subscribe and share. So I look forward to seeing you next time. This is Fine Gaming Connoisseur and take care.